very first Make With Me on our very own Connected Learning Mode. I'm Terry Elliott, and this is Kevin Hodson. Today, we hope to show you how to, you can make your own podcast and express your own voice with simple online tools and apps. Kevin? Yeah, good morning, everyone, and good morning, Terry. Um, yeah, we were interested in podcasting because we want to explore the way that a voice can be connected to writing. And one of our suggested introductions for our first week in the MOOC is to have you introduce yourself, possibly thinking about podcasting. So if you've never done it before, we're going to try to show you a couple of uh, free tools that might help get you started. And I'm going to turn over to my screencast here to kind of help out uh, with uh, a site that I've used with students and with myself. It's called Vocaroo. And Vocaroo is a free site. It's located at vocaroo.com. And what you'll see when you get there is a pretty clean site. Uh, there's not a lot on here, which is nice. Uh, one of the real benefits of Vocaroo is that there's no registration needed. So you can just pop on the site, click record, and start recording right there. You don't need to sign up or anything like that. So this can be a real benefit if you're working with students with no email, like uh, me and my sixth graders. Um, so once you're at the site, uh, there's a nice big click to record button uh, with the traditional kind of red dot there. And when you click on that, it's going to ask if it can connect to your microphone. And I guess we should make it clear that you need to have some kind of microphone if you're podcasting, either built into your system, uh, like I have my computer here, or a microphone. Two styles. One is a high grade uh, blue snowball microphone that the kids love to use. Uh, but I also have a handful of uh, cheapo six or seven dollar microphones that I picked up at Radio Shack uh, that we use for some other kinds of podcasting. So here I'm going to hit allow and allow the crew to access my microphone. And once I do that, now it's started to record. So uh, I can start recording my podcast. So welcome everyone. This is Kevin and Terry. I'm really excited to have you in this first week of our MOOC adventure. And we hope you might try out some podcasting this week with some of the tools we're going to show you. Now when I'm done, I'm just going to click stop, and I can listen to what I recorded. And once I do that, now it starts to record, so uh, I can start recording. If I'm happy with it, I can click here to save. I can hit stop and restart uh, over again if I have made mistakes. Um, you know, sometimes that actually happens. Um, and then at the bottom here, if you click click here to save the Fokuru, uh, what it does is uploads the audio file right into its own server. So now the options are you can grab the web link of where that podcast is. You can grab the embed code um, or you can email it to yourself. They also give you options for sharing on social networking sites. And you can also download it as an MP3. So there's a lot of different things you can do with Vocaroo. You know, the one thing that I'll say the downside is that the audio quality is just fair and sometimes can be a little scratchy. Uh, but I think it's a fair price to pay for a free and easy site uh, that is called Vocaroo. And so I think Vocaroo has a lot of possibilities for the classroom and also for you to make your introductions. And now Terry's going to walk you through um, an app that allows you to do the same. Terry? Thanks, Kevin. <clears throat> I'm going to show you an app called iPatio. And I'm going to share a screen. Uh, but the beauty of this app is that it is um, it's mostly um, for use on mobile devices. In fact, you can use it on smartphones, iPads, Androids. It's pretty device agnostic. As you can see up here in the corner, all of these items, uh, they do have good tutorials, so it's, it's, you don't have to, you know, just just go to the site and follow your notes and you can really pick it up quite easily. But the really neat part about it is that it also can be used with uh, just a regular feature phone. Um, what they do, what you do when you sign up is you get, uh, uh, you get a, uh, you just you give them your information. And I would recommend having a class iPadio account. And once you've got, you've given them a phone number to use, um, and they'll give you a phone number, which is an 800 number, which is amazing. Uh, so there's no long distance calls involved, uh, no costs involved. So you, uh, you dial up the number and you, um, uh, begin, you give them a pin number that they provide, and then you just start recording on your phone. And then you save it. Um, it's um, it's pretty cool. Um, 
how easy it, it is and it all it too allows you to share it to all kinds of different sites uh, one of which is I was happy to see they just added the uh, 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 what's it called SoundCloud Kevin um, but it just it has tons and tons of these um, so uh, I'm hoping that what I can do is um, show you an app on here it's a little bit of a it's always a little bit of a crapshoot here to to get this to work properly on the on the screencast but I'm gonna try it and Kevin do you see that okay I do not I still see um, we're still an iPadio website looks like okay well I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna skip that and just uh, talk to you a little bit more about um, uh, a patio it's um, uh, I've used it uh, personally and professionally uh, even if you don't take it in the classroom it's um, it's a great way to get your voice out there into the uh, uh, into the world and I'm hoping that, that you know we invite you to participate uh, in this uh, make with me um, and to get your voice out there uh, as well uh, Kevin yeah, I think that part of what we're doing is showing you some tools that will help you do that. So if uh, you do record your introduction as a podcast, what we encourage you to do is grab the link of where it's hosted, either through iPatio or Vocaroo, and share that out in either the Google Plus community or on Twitter with the CLMOOC hashtag or on your own blog space as well. Um, think of you know, this as a way to, to get your voice out to the world. And there's a really powerful experience of being able to hear somebody's voice when you're first starting to meet them or reading their words. I think those things really work together nicely. So we're trying to show you a couple ways to do that. Yeah, so, so thanks for joining us today. Um, remember to always connect and post your podcast links, like Kevin says, to our G Plus community and share on Twitter using the hashtag CLMOOC. Thanks a lot, and thanks for joining us for this week one of our Connected Learning Massively Online something something. Collaboration. <laughs> Collaboration. Yeah, we something hope to hear you out there on the web. 